Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download Android apps not available in your country. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, uh, how do you actually download apps that is not available to you? Because currently with how Google Play Store actually works on our mobile devices, it actually determines the available apps depending on where you're currently located and the account that you have right now. Now, first method that we could try here is basically using VPN and accessing Google Play Store. Now, what we need to do here is we just need to go ahead and open up our VPN application. In this case, we need to turn this on. Now, in this case, let's just wait for it to boot up. So in here, just go ahead and click on connect. And once you've connected your VPN, the next thing that you want to do here is you want to go back into Google Play Store. And what we need to do is we need to manage our Google Play Store. Now, in this case, I would suggest you to go to settings here. And from here, we need to look for the app section. Go ahead and click on apps. And from here, you want to click on manage apps. Now, in this case, we need to look for Google Play Store. So let's just wait for it. Uh, look for it. So this is Google Play Store. So let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, what we need to do is we need to force up Google Play Store. And from here, just click on OK. And we want to click on Clear Data. Now, what we need to do here is we need to clear our cache. So go ahead and choose Clear Cache here and click on OK. And once you've done that, you could go ahead and open up Google Play Store again. And from here, you go ahead and search for the app that you want to download and see if it is now available in your account here. But sometimes uh, changing your VPN here might not be the final thing that you need to do. Like for example, the application is not or still not available to you. So in this case, what we need to do here is we need to change or update our uh, country for our Google Play account here. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to go to the top right of our screen here. And from here, we want to go ahead and go to our settings. And from here, go to general. And from here, choose account and device preferences. Now, under this section here, look for the section that says country and profiles. And from here, you should be able to see the available country that you can actually create a profile. Now, I do have to note here that changing your current country right now uh, will only be allowed again after one year of changing your current profile or country. Now, in this case, the country itself might not be available to you immediately because of the IP address that you have right now. So it's more on the technical side. So meaning for you to change your country, your profile here, you need to be in that specific country for you to update your profile. Now, in this case, if you don't see it, then we have to do it the other way, which I'll be showing you here. Now, another way that you could try here is you first have to see if the APK or the installer of the application itself is available on the official website of that specific app. So I just opened up a uh, Google uh, browser here. So what we need to do is we need to search for the application. So just to give an example, we actually have a game called Axie Infinity. So let's go ahead and just type in Axie Infinity here. So let's go ahead and search for it. Goes so in some cases, some of the website or some of the publishers or the application itself actually host or gives you the APK themselves. So in this case, visiting the official website is a great way for you to download the installer itself. On this case, Axie Infinity is booting up here. So what we need to do is we need to look for the download section for their website. So in this case, let's just look for it. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on play now. And it should actually boot up the page where in this case, you should be able to download different uh, applications. In this case, you have the option to download by App Store, Play Store. But again, if the, it is not available in Play Store, you could actually download the APK itself. But this is on a case-to-case -case basis. Sometimes the website or the publisher or the game itself does not provide you the APK. They only publish it via Play Store or via the App Store. So in this case, we'll need to look for a different means of downloading those APK or those application. So another way for you to download those is via the use of a similar application to Google Play Store, which is Aptoid here. So in this case, go to their official website, which is going to be aptoid.com. And from here, just click on the download button here for you to download the Aptoid application. And from here, let's just wait for it to download. So let's go ahead and just wait for it. So if you don't see it, just wait for it to download. So let's just wait for it. Now, as you can see, we have successfully downloaded the APK for Aptoid. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on open here to start installing it and just click on install. 
and once it's actually installed we should be able to search for different apps that we could actually download from different sources so let's just wait for it to install and now we've successfully installed aptoid so let's go ahead and open it up and once in the main UI of Aptoid, we could go ahead and just start searching for apps that we want to install and basically play on our mobile device. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.